All right, gas water heater, troubleshooting. If you have no hot water and you come home, first thing you want to look at is, is there a puddle of water beneath my water heater? If yes, you're going to want to shut it off. If no, you're going to want to look down here, and there's a little sight glass. You have to get down pretty low. In that glass, you should see a blue flame. You'll notice these are all sealed. It means you can't put your hand in there, all that stuff. You have a couple of things down here. This is a reset for um, if there's too much temperature inside, it'll shut off the water, it'll shut off the gas. I mentioned before if you're at a, at like a gas grill, if you ever have to relight your water heater, for some reason it's a windy day, it blew out the pilot, what you're going to want to do if you have no hot water, you're going to want to depress the pilot valve, that's going to allow gas to flow into the, to the unit. And then you're going to want to hit this in piezo, and that's going to send a spark to the gas. You have to verify that the pilot is lit by looking at it, and you'll, you're still holding down the pilot switch. You have to hold it down for at least 30 to 60 seconds so that the thermocouple gets warm enough to maintain the pilot. Then you're going to slowly release the pilot switch. Take a look down, make sure it's still lit. If it's lit, turn the switch to the on position and you're going to hear a flame and the flame is going to be back on inside the water. Here. 